to learn some HTML. So for starters, this is what an HTML document starts like. And they there are all of these are tags. So yes, you need to know tags have the less than and greater than symbol surrounding them. Most tags have pairs, so opening tag and closing tag. And you will notice the closing tag has that slash in front of it. So we have our HTML surrounding everything. We have our head tags. Right now, we don't do anything in the head tags. Um, we will do very little in the head tags overall. Then we have the body tags. That is where everything will go. Please put all of your content in between the opening and closing body tags. So I'm going to go over here to my index.html. That is the home page, always called index.html. And here we go. I have added some content already. But you will notice that all of this content over here gets squished together because it does not have tags. And it doesn't matter if I put a bunch of enters or something. It's still going to be just the same. It's going to be squished together. So we need our tags, which is the whole idea of HTML. So we're going to start with the one tag that we're learning, the P tag, which stands for paragraph. What it does is just that. It basically puts things in paragraphs. And notice I have my closing tag as well. And notice when it goes pink, that's usually bad. But let me finish the tag first and then see if it changes back. So usually pink means a bug. But it's all good here. So you can see how that has separated this from everything else. That's the idea of a paragraph. Not only does it create new lines, but it will also create a little space separating that paragraph from the other one. So again, opening tag, then closing tag. Um, oh, notice capital letters doesn't usually like those. Um, so stick with the lowercase. Honestly, I think it works, but why get some bad habits going? And I'm even going to add it to these ones. I would say that every piece of content needs some kind of tag. Um, in the bare minimum, a P tag is great. So you can see how right there it separates everything. Now we have the tags. The one, the other thing we now have made are HTML elements. So the tag would be like just the P tag, but this whole thing would be an element where it has the opening, the closing, and the content in between there. So P tags, really easy. Shoot, HTML, you can handle it.